the creative process is a bit like an obsession and the idea is a bit like a virus and the process of making is also like that. So in my artwork I quite like working with the idea that all these small little units are almost like a virus that become, it goes viral, right? And then you get an image. I think the interesting thing when you're working on a project like this is that as an artist you have an idea but in practice you have to find a kind of middle ground and negotiate how that idea will come to life. So when I met with Corin Kossier, who is in charge of the ceramic studio, with my design and her glazes and tried to find a middle ground on how we could make the two live together happily. Like a marriage between the concept and the execution. So I started with a photographic reference and I then worked on the computer to simplify it because obviously when you're working with half squares they're almost like half pixels which makes for a much more abstract image but because the image is fairly large and most people will view it at quite a distance it does allow for that kind of ambivalence between abstraction and realism. It's an image of a, of a man walking through a Feinbos landscape and my aim with that was just to try and connect the natural environment to the city. Cape Town basically, the city fits between the sea and the mountains. The mountains really form the backdrop for the city. I felt it was important to create a work that relied to a large extent on colour. There are over 6,000 tiles. The composition is quite simple, it's just connecting earth and sky. I think that colour is something that everyone can relate to whether you're interested in art or not. By introducing something into that public space that's very colourful, I'm hoping to get a more sort of natural, intuitive reaction to the panel. Because it's not really about what it is or what it's representing, but it's just a response to this large area of colour. Initially my accents were bright pink and that was the one colour we couldn't achieve. We couldn't get like this kind of pink, you know. So, we had to find something else that would spark the design and that's when we came up with the idea of sort of substituting some of the highlights with golden tiles. Since it's a public artwork, it's very important for me that the public takes ownership of it and that the public can relate to it and that they can engage with it. Having an incentive like this Nana's Accidental Art Project enables people to have a visual experience without having to be informed about art or design. It really just makes it part of daily life. I'm hoping people will kind of use it so that, you know, you can actually go and sit on the benches with a red umbrella and, you know, have this crazy backdrop that you can post on Facebook if you want to.